Hello there. Welcome to Tech and Cash. I hope you are doing well. So today we have another post game review. If I remember correctly, I played this game not long ago for our latest、um, Premier League tournament on the tournament Discord server. All right, so let's get straight to it. So it looks like we have Kill Deer in the tray, and I'm going second. That's always set to see.、Um, interesting starting hand here. So Ulo's bonus card was quite good,、um, but I think you know obviously the net catcher is a good starting bird for the forest.、Um, but the the Motoni's wobbler really jump out to me.、Um, I I've always wanted to explore more of the two power of the Motoni's Wobbler, which allow you to play another bird at the end of the round if you use all four actions、um, during that round. Yeah, I I think it's just a really good tempo builder. Like you're almost getting free turns when you get to play additional birds,、um, but really always the tricky part is that to play extra bird you need. The cards you need the you need the food you also need the eggs so、um, having good supply of all those three are kind of the key to use the teal power like the Motoni's wobbler.、Um, I think I should be doing pretty good with food at least you know with the net catcher,、um, but the card draw I was thinking using using the carrion crow in the wetland as my you know. To build up my wetland to draw a card, which is not the best.、Um, yeah, since my opponent got the kill deer, so I pick up the cowbird as well,、uh, knowing that they're likely going to activate their grassland a lot. So,、um, of course, my opponent also drew the wax wing.、Um, that's their that's their choice there. I mean, with with the kill deer, the wax wing can be quite good. So you can tuck cards and. Gain free cherry, so that was expected. Not much I can do about it.、Um, looks like they'll still start with the with a morning dove.、Um, that's also perfect. They're gonna have a good time setting up their forest、um, as they're waiting to play their kill deer in round two. So on the tournament Discord, we have the house rule where you can only play the power four birds, so the raven and the kill deer in round two. So round one, they're just basically setting up. So yeah, didn't 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 feel the urgency to play the cowbird because you know if they have the morning dove,、um, unlikely they're gonna lay eggs anytime soon. So really, another thing about you, you know trying to maximize the power like the Motoni's wobbler, you really kind of have to be. Um, pay attention to the number of turns you have left,、um, because you know for the power to work, you need to use all four actions. But at the same time, you need to make sure you have all the、um, resources necessary to activate the two power.、Um, it was kind of interesting that my opponent、um, play the waxwing in the forest.、Um, I think typically you 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 like to have it in the in the grassland with your cute deer,、um, but I guess with with the waxing in the forest, it might help them to win the first end of round goal, which is food in supply.、Um, but I but typically in the long run, it's better in the grassland, or they might have other plans.、Um, and then here, I did not play the carrion crow because I was also debating whether to pick up the. The sandpiper or the turn.、Um, I remember I was debating: Do I want to play the carrion crow, or maybe I can pick up the 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 spotted sandpiper of the turn and play those instead.、Um, and looks like I went with the turn. Lately, you know, the starter is will will be quite good for the next two end of round goals.、Um, and and the turn kind of. Kind of helped me with a little bit with the card draw as well. So, 
Yeah, it looks like if I if I play the turn, I, I still have enough food to play either the Carrion Crow or the Cowbird um, using my um, two power. So I think that was the plan. Um, and yep, so I have one turn left, so I just play the turn. So there's a couple options here, either to play the Cowbird or to play the Carrion Crow. Looks like I went with the Cowbird anticipating that, um, you know, my opponent is going to start setting up their, their wetland or their grassland kill deer soon. Yeah. I think the free egg from the Cowbird is going to help with my, you know, eggs. Um in terms of activating my, my two power that I have enough eggs to play extra bird at the end of the at the end of the at the end of the turn. Uh at the end of the round I guess. Um yeah the, the carrion crow really doesn't make sense when you when neither you or your opponent has the predators. Um so I think I think the cowbird was a good call there. Um I also grew to really like birds like the Eurasian turtle dove, um, dove which allows you to, um, when you play, you gain a bonus card and then you get a choice of gaining extra cards or food or an egg. Um, I think the I think the ability to gain card um, can be really useful here um, when I don't really have a good card draw. Um, so yeah, so now that's a couple bird in the tray that you know that i might have to look into denying especially with the shaffinch um it, it coupled really well with the kill deer so um i was i'm 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 probably debating whether to deny the shaffinch or not um again it's a very tight game when you have the um when you when you're trying to make use of make use of the Motoni's Wobbler, you, you have very limited turns. So um, if you spend one turn denying, so that means you have one less turn to really plan out your resources to play that extra bird at the end of the round. Um, yeah, I guess the, the, the Shaffin would work out quite nicely here because I, I have the Grub to play it. It's a four point birds by itself, which is quite nice. Um, and most importantly, it opened up the third, like second, like allow me to gain three food at once. Um, so I, I can use all the food that I have, I, that I can get to um, play extra bird for, uh, for my two power. And at the same time, I can also tuck um, the bird that um, I wasn't going to play, for example, the, um, the carrion crow there. So... That felt quite good. So two more turns. So I'm I'm looking at, you know, I I can play. I can play the. I can play the Eurasian. Turtle dove and get either cards that I can play. Um. <clears throat> So for example, I can I can also I was think looking at this I was thinking maybe I can I can go with the woodpecker, um, and then I can gain food to play it. Yeah. So I still have one more turn to gain food. So, uh, but looking at the bird feeder, looks like uh, I would be more. I, I can I can go with the fish and the rodent and then that that allows me to play my wood stork at the end of the round, which is quite good. Again, if you think about it, like playing the wood stork is like five points. Um and then you get a bonus card. So um keeping those birds because you know with my forest I imagine the, the collar dove can be quite nice towards the end of the game when I have extra food. Um, and then the woodpecker again, like with the 
with the extra bonus card that can really help. Um, yeah, now look at my opponent's setup. They have the Mockingbird, but um, really no good power for them to repeat. Um, I guess they they can they can dig for extra cards. Um, they can they can dig for extra cards by repeating Q Deer, but I imagine if they had the Waxwing in in the grassland, that would have been a really great setup. Um, so they can either extra tug with their um, with their Waxwing to gain food. They don't even really have to go to the forest. Um, so looking at my bonus card here. <clears throat> The bird bender is quite a tricky one, so I only have two. So if I play the nightingale, um, that would be another one. I don't think, yeah, that that card draw wasn't the greatest. Like the blackbird and the little bit, and not really what I want to play. But good thing I have the chaffinch in the in the forest that I can tuck some of those. I think I got two points for the wood stork. Um, oh, that was interesting. I wouldn't play it in the, in the forest. Yeah, that, that would have been really strange to play that Nightingale in the forest, but yeah. I think that's a good plan, trying to get the bonus card out and then... Again, trying to look at the end of round goes here is bird with bonus. Looks like I'm I'm doing pretty well, but I have four birds with bonus and one like three with bow, one with star. The key is really plan out the turn so that um I can I can play I can take enough action to activate my two power, but at the same time, um I, I have to lay eggs to make sure I win the end of round go as well. So that that's the I think that's the that's the balancing act with um the Motoni's wobbler two power. That's just a lot more planning of your turns. For example, I have three more turns here. So one turn I have to lay eggs. Um so I have two more turns. I definitely need to gain enough food to play the extra birds. Um so So the question is, what extra birds did I play? Um, so I drew the bird, bird bender. So I think the nightingale. If I play here, um, so I can lay eggs and gain extra food to help me to play more bird. Um, the collar dove looks pretty good for um, the last bird to fulfill my platform builder. So I think I was definitely looking at the. Oh, look like they have the blackbird, so they're, they're really catching up with their end of round go or like the engine there with their Q deer and the round go and mockingbird. Um, I think I needed the extra eggs, um, so that after I play my bird, I can still tie the end of round go. I wasn't sure if I was, I, I didn't look closely if I were winning. If I were gonna win or tidy in a brown goes there. Okay. And yep, looks like I'm gonna go with the woodpecker here. Ethologist, you take it, or ecologist. Um yeah, that that's a tricky, tricky, tricky pickup here. I think with ecologist, if I play two more birds, I can score two more points. Um but with the ethologist, I was probably thinking like, well, maybe I can get a white power birds and I play it in the in the grassland. I can score two more points. Uh, well, the swallow and robin would have been really nice in the early game, but it's a little bit too late now. Uh, looking at my bonus card, I have the platform builder and omnivore, so definitely eyeing on that king reel over there. Um, the hummingbird can be good, could be good for my bird bender. Um, yep, I still need one more bird that live in multiple habitat for my bird bender. 
um, and then King Rail, both platform builder and omnivore, that could be quite good. Um, so again, it's even trickier in round five or round four, <laughs> the famous round five. Um, in round four, you really only have five turns. So you really have to plan this out. Four of those, you know, it's already set. You, you have to take bird, you have to lay eggs, take food, and then um, play a bird. So again, this is, I'm, I'm talking about like maximizing the the Moltoni's Wobbler 2 power. Oh, look at that tray. Three tuck and draw birds. <laughs> that would be the dream, dream tray in the early game. Um, so, yeah. So very tight planning at the end. And then at the same time, I have the Ulojis. So um, I, I have to think about how do I maximize the, the Ulojis bonus point there as well. And then at the same time, um, we also have the end of round goal, which are birds in one row. So, um, all right, looks like a bug. But yeah, that was just a lot of decision making um, in in this final final round here. Um, so. There's, there's just multiple ways I could go about this because if you look at it, the honey buzzard um, also satisfy both omnivore and the platform builder. And if I play the honey buzzard, I can also guarantee at least I tie the end of round goes there. Um, so in term of food efficiency, you know, the honey buzzard is four points, but the I guess the king real get me an extra bonus card so it's really about like how lucky do i feel about lucky um about bonus card and yeah that's why um really spending a, a little bit extra time here trying to figure out which card to tuck because this is the turn that um i need to tuck i need to tuck my cards um, otherwise I won't be activate, activating my forest bird um, forest again so any cards that I don't touch are, are, are points that I, that I, that I miss um, so again like must play bird like that that hummingbird is t is totally worth it I think because bird bender is four points plus hummingbird four points that's eight points and then between king rail and the honey buzzard um, one of them uh, is going to work for this as well. Um, looks like I went with the King Rail. And I guess I was also kind of looking at the Collar Dove. Um, I didn't talk the Collar Dove. I guess one way I can make use of the Collar Dove was, you know, I, I, play, I play the Hummingbird. So that that score me points for the bird bender and then i lay eggs to gain food to play the color dove um that unlock that 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 helped me to tie for the end of round goal and at the same time that uh, that allows me to catch the extra fruit that i have <clears throat> so yeah i think that was one way to go oh i play the hummingbird and play the king rail so it was between playing hummingbird for sure and then, um, and then either King Rail or the, or the, or the Collar Dove. <clears throat> um, I think the tricky part is also I have to lay eggs twice to make sure I, I, I get maximum points for my, um, for my Ulojis. So it's, it, it was a, lo a lot of needy greedy calculation there. So so now I have the I have the bird bender. So I need to play the king rail to score the platform builder and two additional points for omnivore. And I think I have to play in the wetland as well to to tie the end of round go. So um, the the last two turn is just laying eggs um, to make sure I. I, I, I score for Ulojis. So I already have two eggs and I can lay four eggs. 
So that's two turns, that's eight plus two, that's 10 eggs. But I'm gonna spend two eggs playing the king rail. So 10 minus two, so that's only eight eggs um, for, for my Uloges. So I really need my opponent to lay eggs at least once to activate my cowbird so that I have nine eggs to score the maximum for Uloges here. So that 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 can be quite tricky. Um, and looks like I just have enough food to play both the king rail and also convert the food to eggs to score my Uloges. So that worked out quite well. Oh look at look at them playing the double play, 14 points play there. Or at least you know 12 points. So that that was really good. Yeah. Looking back, this seems like um, definitely, you know, wasn't feeling very confident about this, the game at this point. Looks like they were, they were scoring pretty well, running pretty effective engine. Um, yeah, 69 points at that point. Doesn't really spite, spark a lot of confidence. Um, I guess where I lay eggs is really important here as well. Um, Want to make sure I lay in um, nest tight that's not bonus because I, I I was counting on filling those bonus using my cowbird. So really just need one more eggs from my cowbird um, to make this whole plan work. Um, looking at my opponent endgame here, like you know, that there was no doubt that very lately they, they are gonna lay eggs because they have plenty of egg spots and they don't have any food. Um, so that their grassland engine um, was the most effective. So, all right. So now's the end, and I, I get to play the king rail. I think um, I think I, I was definitely still counting on a good bonus card on the king rail to close the gap because looks like my opponent have have a very strong game there with their bird points and tug and aches. Um, so yeah, moment of truth. And Viticulturalist with three points. You you take it. Um could be better. So again, strong feeling that, that was a that, that was gonna be a close that was gonna be a tight and close game. And let's see. Yep, ended up being a six point difference. Um definitely a tight game over there. Um, yeah, quite happy with the, with, with, with my game there. Um, definitely a little bit stressful. Like I say, that, that was a lot of planning involved, like every, every round, like you really need to, you know, watch out for the turns that you have left. And then sometimes like you have to spend, spend some turn denying your opponent that kind of mess up with your plan and then getting enough resources to play the extra per at the end of the round is also kind of crucial. And I guess one thing that, you know, I, I didn't talk about is the the the, the two power, I, I think it has a lot of potential that allows you to play extra bird at the end of the round. But I think based on my experience, like that potential really amplify when you have two two of the same two powers. So if, if you have two of the same two power, you, you get to play two extra bird at the end of the round. So you're kind of getting rewards for, you know, double the rewards for the same amount of work. Um, but again, at the same time, you know, it, it's, it's built on the basis that you have the card supply and eggs and food to support that play. But in any case, that was the game. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time.